Hey guys, Hardly Brief Dan here with another episode of the Unity Making RPG series. Today we're going to continue working on our inventory system where we started creating a on drag event where we can drag the item slots. Uh, this is part two of that where there's going to be a few more parts so hopefully you stick around for all the parts and hopefully you learn something you can use in your projects. Uh, but I'll do a quick review real quick. I'll do a quick review and then we'll go ahead and get started with the coding. Um, last time the first thing we did was we created a way We'll go ahead and press play. We create a way where we can show the item icons that we need for the item types that we have. We have an armor type, so we have an armor icon. We have a weapon type, so we have the sword uh, icon for that. And we created two. We created a method that basically searches for the proper one. And I showed you another way you can do it when you create the item. It's up to you which one you which way you want to use. Uh, for right now, the way we created it's perfect for prototyping. It might not be the best implementation, but it works for now. Uh, the other thing we worked on, which was at the end, was the on drag handler, which I'll talk about some more. But basically, we created a drag icon, uh, which is just a new UI object. It's an image of a sprite, basically, that when we click an item, start dragging, it appears on screen. So we're going to do two things today. First, we're going to disable this item icon. We are going to set this item uh, to be. We're going to like take that item and store it in a different variable, and then we're going to move around this uh, variable here. So let's do that now. Let's go into code or in Visual Studio or Mono Develop, whatever you're using, and we'll start in the item selected class, which is the class that's attached to the prefab. It uses that iDrag handler, which is the interface that's uh, in the Unity Engine Event Systems library. Uh, we talked about that last time. We're going to be using that just a little bit more today. And uh, basically, you implement a point, a public void on drag function that allows us to drag or allows us to figure out when we're dragging an icon and we're using a or we wrote this code this is game object find the inventory game object and get its component inventory window and call this method show dragged item now I did add this line of code this dot transform dot name go ahead and add that now because we're gonna be using it basically we're passing this string which is the name to the show dragged item method that's in our inventory window class so once you do that jump into the inventory window class and we'll go ahead and start working on uh, today's goals. So, first thing we want to do, or first thing I'll talk about it really is I created some comments here. Um, basically, what I like to do is when I'm working on a new class or new method, I like to write out some comments of what that method or class is supposed to achieve, and then I go through it and I can slowly kind of knock them off my list. And once I do that, then you know I know I have the complete method. I, w I know exactly what it needed to, do and I know that I got it to work that way. Uh, and then maybe I can figure out where I went wrong and add some more or take away something. Uh, so I went ahead and added some. Basically, we need to uh, code somehow to move the icon, which we'll talk about. We need to store the item in another location, which we'll talk about today. Uh, then I want to add a few more things. We need to display the proper icon that we're dragging, and then we need to disable the item icon uh, that's attached to the selected item prefab. So basically, we're going to be doing most of this today. And we'll just go ahead and start with the first one where we need to store the item in another location. So I've created a public base item type variable called item being dragged. You can name it whatever you want, and it needs to be of base type of type base item or whatever your item class is labeled. Uh, so I'm going to copy that with Control C. I just double click to highlight it. In our show dragged item method, I'm going to say item being dragged is going to be equal to our player inventory, which is the um, <clears throat> private instance of our inventory. I'm going to do some square brackets here with a semicolon and I'm going to say int dot parse and I'm going to put some parentheses in here and in this we're going to pass it name and all this does is it basically looks at this string name and it tries to find what uh, what number what integer value should be and since we're passing it a one in string it's going to know it's a one or a zero whatever the item is and it's going to be stored in here and the one way we can check that is do debug dot log um, We'll say item being dragged. We'll get its name, and then we'll do debug dot log item being dragged dot item type. We'll say that's pretty good, uh, and that way we can kind of prove that we're actually doing it, right? So we just added these three lines of code. These two debug statements are just for testing. We're just making sure that we're storing the proper item in this item being dragged variable. So Control S to save. Let's go into Unity and uh, let's try it out. 
So I'm going to clear the console here, make sure we don't have any errors or anything like that. And I'm going to click on these items. And we know we have item 84, which is armor, and item 87, which is stamina, or excuse me, which is a sword. And we know they're labeled 0 and 1. I'm going to click the sword, and hopefully we'll see the item type be weapon and item name be item 87. So I just quit, clicked it and dragged briefly, and we can see here it's item 87 and it's weapon, uh, which is good. That's what we want it to be doing. Uh, so we got that done. Let's go back into Visual Studio here, and I'm going to comment these out because we don't need them. You, you don't need to do that. If you want to keep them up for testing, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but let's do, let's work on moving that item icon because uh, that's kind of fun. So what we need to do is have a public variable. We'll call it public, uh, public bool, uh, it, uh, being, we'll call it being dragged. That works. Being dragged. Not the best, but it works. And we're going to set this to false at the start because it is false, right? We're not start, we're not being dragged as soon as we start. And what we'll do is we'll set it to true once we call this method show dragged item. So I am drag below this debug statement. Press enter. Say being dragged is equal to true. Right? Pretty simple. Self, you know, pretty explanatory. You can kind of figure it out what it means. We're being dragged. Now we want to use this variable in our update statement. So in our update method, we're going to say if being dragged is true. So if this happens to be true, we're moving an item, what do we want to do? Well, we want to move the item icon. Uh, and the, what, the way we're going to handle that is using a vector 3. And we're going to call this mouse position like that. And we're going to set that equal to uh, our input dot mouse position. We're going to subtract a game object dot find game object with tag. Right, so we're gonna have one with a tag, and we're gonna leave that blank. Why we put a quotes in there to represent that it's a string, uh, and then we're gonna say get component. We're gonna be looking for a rect transform, which is the new transform type that's in the new Unity UI 4.6, uh, and do our parentheses here, and we'll do dot local position. Okay, so. Let's talk about this a little bit. Basically, we're getting a mouse position, which is the input of our mouse position, and we're subtracting it based on the value from this component. Well, what's the component? Well, we're going to be looking for the game object tagged canvas. So we're looking for the canvas that this item is attached to, this inventory window is attached to, and we want to subtract it from its mouse position. Now, remember, this is a vector three, so we're subtracting two vector two vector threes. Uh, and if you need to look up on how to do that, you can definitely check out some Wikipedia and stuff like that to figure out what, what we're really doing here. It's, vector subtraction is pretty easy. Same with addition. Uh, basic stuff is like that. It's pretty simple. You should check it out. It's very helpful with doing graphical stuff. But anyways, that's for a different video. Control S to save. Let's go into Unity. And let's make sure our canvas is actually tagged as canvas. So obviously it's not, right? And there's no set one. So we'll go to add tag add a tag here and we'll label it canvas hit enter let's go click back on the canvas in our hierarchy under tag it says untagged you see our, the one we just added with add tag is canvas click it press play and we should or excuse me press enter control us to save and come back into visual studio and now this should be working we should be able to find this and get a new vector the next thing we want to do is uh, create we're going to write another line of code, but first we want to go ahead and create a, a couple of private variables. And these are going to be constants. So we're going to say private uh, int const int. Uh, and this is going to be our mouse position offset, we'll call it. So mouse position offset. And we'll set this equal to 30 for now. Uh, basically, this, this number you're going to want to be able to play with a little bit. And uh, you might change away how it works. But this works pretty well, so we'll say mouse, we'll call it mouse position offset, uh, and I'll explain it in just a moment. Uh, but basically, we have this dragged icon, and we want to uh, grab it. So we'll say dragged icon dot get component, and the component we want to get is the rec transform again, which is that new type of transform. And once we get it, we want to get its local position. We want to set that equal to a new vector three, and the the position we're going to be setting it is going to be our mouse position dot x plus or minus depending on what you want plus or minus 
uh, the mouse position offset. Now we're gonna do that again. We're say uh, for a Y, we'll say mouse position, not offset. Excuse me. Dot Y plus or minus, depending on what you want. Uh, we'll say let's say minus for now, and I'll explain that in just a moment too. We'll say mouse position offset, uh, and then we just sort of want our mouse position dot Z. Okay, so let's go ahead and explain this a little bit, and then we'll make sure that it's working fine. Uh, basically, we're create we're setting our dragged icon game object. We're getting its component rec transform, and we're going to set that position to a new vector three. And the vector three is three variables. It's x, y, and z, and we're going to tell it to set it, but we're based on the mouse position. So if our mouse is here, I'm wiggling it. We want our image to be maybe below it, up, right, left. You know, depending on what you want in your unique situation. But we want to offset a little bit so we can click on things. Uh, and w the way this is set up, it's basically like a X, Y, like your four quadrants in a graph. You have your plus Y plus X, you know, your minus X plus Y. And so basically what we're doing is we're saying plus X, but minus Y. So we want it in this lower quadrant, if you can kind of imagine that. Uh, and let's control S to see it, save, go into Unity, and hopefully we don't have any errors or anything and it all works. Uh, but you know how those things go. Okay, so I'm going to click play, and you can see I'm dragging the icon. Look at that. So we have this icon attached. You see it's kind of offset a little bit uh, below the pointer, and that's because we can do different things with this pointer now. Uh, so say if I want to um, click on another object with this, and you use a ray, a ray cast. Well, the point, the point, the tip of that mouse needs to be off of the icon and needs to pass through it so that it can actually figure out what you're touching. And that's one way to do it. You kind of just do an offset. Now, I'll go back into Visual Studio. We can play around with these numbers. We could say like 50. And again, these are, I'm pretty sure these are set in pixels. Uh, so let's say 50. We'll go back into Unity. I'll press play again. And when I drag the icon, you can see that it's moved now. Uh, so this really depends on your game and what you want. Uh, the icon could be smaller, bigger. It's really, really, this is going to be dependent on your project, OK? Uh, one thing we can do now, which is cool, is we can get the game component, for our dragged icon image component, and we can set the proper uh, icon. So what we'll do is we have our dragged icon here. We're going to click that again. I'm just going to copy it, paste it right below this. Actually, we don't need to do it right below the update function. Uh, do it. We want to do it once. Um, so what we'll do is in the show dragged item script or method here we'll say dragged icon dot for uh, get component we're gonna get the image component and we're gonna set its sprite equal to our item being dragged dot uh, return oops excuse me we're gonna say is equal to return item icon and we're gonna pass it the item being dragged right so what we're doing here is we're accessing this drag item icon or this drag icon, excuse me, which is the sprite of the UI component sprite or image, and we're setting its sprite equal to uh, the item being dragged, which is the item that we clicked on, and we're returning and we're getting that from our function that we created last time, return item icon, which is down here. So hopefully, again, if it all works, we'll go into Unity. We should see a piece of armor. Actually, let me go back and change the offset to 30. I don't know if I fixed that. Let's change it back to 30. Controls to save. Go into Unity. Let's press play. I'm going to click and drag the sword. And you see we have a little sword here now. And this is where the offset comes in handy. You see the, the offset is it's a little much. We don't need that big of an offset now. Uh, let's click the armor and see how it looks. Yeah. So you see we're dragging the icon now, though. It's pretty cool. Uh, and it, you know, what I've noticed is when you add some artwork and some little things like this, it really gets you motivated to keep working on your project. So I know this is cool, and we're going to keep working on it. Uh, but basically, now we're dragging an icon. But let's go ahead and do one more thing in this video. We'll disable this icon here, and we'll delete the slot kind of thing. So what we'll do that is in selected item, I believe all we, all's we have to do is say this. Uh, we'll get this component, so we'll say... Actually, before we do that, let's go into item window and we'll copy some code. We don't need to keep writing all this code. We've already written some of it. So what we'll do is grab this item slot transform get child. Let's copy that. So I just highlighted it. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it in here. 
And what we'll do is say, instead of item slots I, we'll just say this. So we're saying, hey, this transform, get its child, which is the image component, the item icon image. We're going to get its game object, and we're going to turn it to false. We're going to turn it off. We don't want it. So let's press play. And it's gone. Now, there's one issue here. Item here is still... Um, items 27 still stamina uh, it doesn't say it's empty so what we can do now and again don't worry about this uh, exception we're gonna fix that later uh, but basically what we'll do now is we'll say we said it let's, after we turn it off let's go ahead and change its name so we'll say this dot transform dot name uh, and this is probably gonna throw some errors uh, so we'll, we'll get it working now and then we'll comment it out because we're gonna have to come up with a little bit better more logical way to handle this but I just want to show you how we can do it now so we'll say empty so we're just gonna change this name to empty um, controls to save and go into unity or uh, excuse me go into yeah unity press play we'll drag an item and you see we have this issue uh, it's changed the name and basically I'll, I'll go ahead and describe what this error is coming from um, Basically, we change the name. This function is being called constantly. As soon as we're dragging, we are calling this 100% of the time. Uh, and we don't really want to do that. So we can use a public variable that we created saying on being dragged. And what we'll do, um, I know I'm getting, I know I said we'll do only one more thing, but we'll do a couple things. Uh, basically, we only want to call this this code once. Right? We don't want to keep sending it over and over. So I'm going to highlight it. Hit Control uh, X to cut, Control V to paste. I'm going to highlight these two lines and hit Tab, Tab over. And in our um, in our parentheses here for if statement, we're going to copy this game object find inventory window get uh, inventory window component, paste that in there, and do uh, dot. Um, we want to find that public bool. Right, so we want to say being dragged is our public bool, and we want to say, hey, if this is false, then we can do it. Otherwise, don't do it. And all we're doing is we're going to make this only run one time. So if we're not dragging anything, and all of a sudden this happens, this is still false. So we're going to run all this once. It this is going to come back true, and it's not going to run it again. But we'll still be dragging. Uh, so let's clear all this up. Let's press play one more time, and. All of our errors are away. We're dragging the item. You can see in the hierarchy it's empty and we don't have any errors. Uh, so that's awesome. Lots of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something in this video. Hopefully you watched the whole thing. Uh, please like and subscribe. The likes are awesome. Uh, they really help the channel get some views and some more traffic. So I appreciate it. appreciate all the feedback. It's great hearing from you guys. Uh, let me know how your projects are coming. And in the next video we'll continue working on the dragged icons. Talk to you guys next time.